uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so here we are going in deep about serverless framework we will talk about what all different commands how you can set up how you can actually deploy lambda from your system so this is the last slide after this we are going to do all hands-on demo no no slides no theoretical aspects but just for cover up like what all things we are targeting we can just take a look onto these slides okay so first of all how you can set up serverless is you should have either node.js python or whatever the programming language you are using i will use i will i'm using serverless with python so i will install it so i already have a node.js installed on my system the another thing you, which you need is an admin user you can create an admin user because we need access key and secret key to create a aws profile onto the system then we will install serverless globally because this is a command line tool we are going to use so we can actually configure a serverless because serverless need to talk to aws for that you need to provide an access key and secret key it will also create a serverless user profile for you okay and then we can start creating the basic lambda either we can create it with the template sls create will provide you some basic templates so you will get some boilerplate code and you can actually deploy it the boilerplate code is not uh, fancy but it will help you to understand the initial configuration then you can customize it and patch it according to your needs right so we are going to run all these commands just right in the next video okay then we will do all these simple simple commands sls deploy it, it will deploy your lambda based on your configuration sls invoke okay i want to invoke it offline on my local system sls deploy i have written a lot of functions because you might be deploying five lambda from one serverless configuration i wanted to invoke a particular one you provide the function name you can also check the deployment logs from local and finally sls remove which will remove your lambda from aws right and this is a basic example of serverless.yml where you are i am writing a handler this is what we were doing in the lambda also like handler.hello and events like these are the http events there is a method get associated with this api hello will call this handler similarly you can actually define a path different methods right so there can be a same path on method post so it will call this particular handler okay now serverless yml configuration is not going to be simple we will learn a lot of things in the serverless configuration like live the vpc settings environment variables how to set the memory of for a lambda how to set a timeouts for the lambda because if you go into aws and check the ui you we are providing a lot of configurations so vpc environment variables the timeouts uh, IAM, IAM roles permissions all these things so how you can do these things with the serverless configuration dot yml there should be some tags which you need to specify to specify timeouts uh, memory settings and all okay then we will talk about these real world examples like creating a simple rest apis which will involve node.js dynamodb table api gateway lambda using serverless and iam and cloud formation resources we will also talk about serverless offline where you are writing a lambda and should be able to test it offline on your local system with dynamodb then serverless offline testing with another scenario where you are actually uploading image it will there will be a lambda which will resize it and uh, then we will put it to s3 and, and there will be another lambda which will log the event that this particular image has been resized okay so this is a typical uh, serverless application where front end is exposed through s3 and cloud front and from the api gateway when this front end is exposed we are actually talking to the api gateway and lambda and lambda is executing your logic and updating the record in the dynamo db cognito or zero firebase whatever you can use for your authentication authorization okay so now from the next video let's install serverless let's create aws profile and get started 